Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Today we celebrate this Mass for the intention of Brian McNamar, the deceased, and as we continue to thank God for the gift of faith and for the gift of life, let us continue also to remember our brothers and sisters who are sick. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and, you, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, raised up, we pray, to the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand, so that when our Saviour comes again in majesty, those who have given new birth in baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Galileo, who was proconsulate of Achaia, the Jews rose up against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God, contrary to the law. When Paul was about to speak, Galileo spoke to the Jews, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of, of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles in your own law, see to it yourself. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sovenus, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was concern to Galileo. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed to Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Central, he had shaved his head, because he had taken a vow. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is a great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God, God is king, king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing, pr sing praise. God, God is king, king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O God. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. 
You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because of her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy, that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear friends, today in the first reading, when I was uh, reading, I asked myself, so when I hear Paul was asked with these words, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid and continue to do what I have entrusted you. That's what Jesus is telling him. What does it mean in our journey of life? I come to recognize that the life of Paul was not always easy. He struggled and he experienced difficulties and challenges in his life. But the word of Jesus always continues to comfort him and give him strength and healing. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid even the time of struggles, even at the times when people are persecuted you. Do not be afraid even the time when you receive rejection. Paul reminds us that when we are weak, we are stronger because Jesus is in our lives. Today, as the gospel reminds us that uh, even if we can encounter pain and difficulties, but we have joy because that's what Jesus has entrusted us. Dear friends, in our journey of life, let us continue to put our trust in God, to put our trust in Jesus, because He's our way, He's our source of life. Even at the time when we find ourselves that things are not going the way we expect, let us put our trust in Jesus, because He's our way. And He always reminds us, come to me who you are labor and burden and I will give you rest. As we are preparing ourselves to celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, Jesus reminds us that is not leaving us alone. The coming of the Holy Spirit will be also the time for us for joy. But he's giving us strength always to remain together, to remain focused, and to remain in a very strong in our faith. In doing that, will continue to fulfill our duties and even at the time that we find ourselves things are not going the way we expect. My ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, I want to extend my thanks to all of you but in a very special for those who are not members of our parish but they have come forward to support us, to pray together with us, and even to extend their love to support our church. I say thank you so much, and I want to entrust you that the risen Christ is always coming to us with our solidarity and with our love and with our peace. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Bless we God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in your compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is true and right and just to our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, ever land and ever people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray. Thy sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread and drink this, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, in your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Brian, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask that you also put a comment uh, on the screen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold the immortal takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Gary, I would like to thank all of you for your prayers and for your participation for this morning Mass. And I want to ask you to continue to pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick at homes and even those who are in the hospitals so that the healing power of Jesus may continue to guide them and give them strength and healing. I want to wish you all the best for the nice day, but also for a good preparation for a celebration for Ascension Feast. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.